scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Time, I want to give you six decisions. They are major decisions that all champions, without exception, have made and continue to make in their lives and destinies whether you want to be a great man of god a great sportsman a great leader a great businessman you want to follow the steps of our father in the lord or any visionary leader world over that you seem to have admired can i tell you this these six decisions if understood if mastered and if you make these decisions consistently, I give you a guarantee based on the integrity of scripture and the formidability of the laws of life, you will not fail. I set before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. I cannot force you on what to choose. But I can advise you, if you want to live, you live by choosing life. Are you ready for these decisions? I want you to lay your hands on your head in one minute and pray from the depth of your heart. Let my spirit man be open to understand this truth. As you are laying your hands on your head, you are not only laying your hands on yourself, you are laying your hands on all the destinies connected to you. You are laying your hands on your children and your children's children. You are laying your hands on the congregation that the Lord will give you to pastor in the nearest future. You are laying your hands on all the people who will be part of your company and your conglomerate. Is someone praying? I obtain grace from God. Someone is praying. Grace from God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Decision number one. The first decision in this conference that I recommend for you to make if you want to surpass ordinary standards, if you want to excel, if you want to become a voice in this generation, if you want to serve the purposes of God effectively, is the decision to make exceptional spiritual progress. Write it down. The first decision that you must make is the decision to make exceptional spiritual progress. The decision to make exceptional spiritual progress Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 13 the Bible here says and you shall seek me and find me if you seek me Jeremiah chapter 9 let's look at verse 11 down to 13 i'm looking for the scripture that says you will seek me and find me if you seek me with all your heart 29 i meant to say not 9 forgive me 29 13 jeremiah chapter 
29 and you will seek me and find me when ye shall search for me jeremiah 29 and verse 11 with all your heart everybody say all your heart there is a way a man can commit himself and make a decision that as far as my spiritual life is concerned my fire will never go down as far as my prayer life is concerned as far as my word study life is concerned as far as my passion for god is concerned the older i become the more on fire i become it's a choice there are many people today who have chosen not to be serious with god god respects their choice but you also will not get the destiny of one who is on fire with god can i tell you the truth righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne you cannot give god five minutes of your destiny and expect the mantle of one who gave god everything god is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him in matthew chapter 22 and verse 37 matthew chapter 22 and verse 37 jesus himself was teaching and he began to encourage us based on that which was written in the law to love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind when you give god all and you make a decision to seek him and make quality spiritual progress i assure you you have made a noble decision and you have begun to sign in for a destiny of greatness say amen. amen hear me there are all kinds of distractions in our world today respectfully speaking the abuse of social media all kinds of mundane relationships that may not be pointing us towards destiny and all sorts of things that distract and destroy people I have said before you life and death every one of you at the sound of my voice and those following watching by way of internet social media by way of TV station I need you to know that the first decision in order of priority that you must make if you want to surpass ordinary standards and live an excelling life is the decision to make exceptional spiritual progress everyone shout it after me say in the name of jesus from today i make up my mind to love jesus to seek jesus to pursue my spiritual progress without fail listen do you know what that means that means you must obtain grace and the discipline to wake up and pray when it is time to pray when your body tells you i am sleeping just hear the generations that you are sent to begging you and say wake up for our sake wake up for our sake wake up for our sake the healing anointing that must come to you in the place of prayer don't let sleep kill us the child that i'm supposed to receive is tied to your spiritual seriousness don't let me die barren when you hear the voice of those who are calling on you it gives you the energy to wake up hear me every time you feel lazy to study scripture just remember that there is a multitude of people saying please if you do not feed us the witches and wizards and the yokes and the curses in our background will destroy us and god has tied our destiny to your life do not fail us can i tell you this if you do not live with a sense of destiny you will not have the passion to pursue your spiritual life you don't pray as a matter of convenience you don't fast as a matter of convenience many of us the enemy to your destiny is slumber you can sleep by eight and wake up by 12 as a young man no you will not go far god is not a herbalist you will not go far don't 
just keep admiring mantles and anointings behind mantles and anointings let me tell you the truth is 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 there is blood dripping on those altars testaments of prayer testaments of fire testaments of fasting testaments of staying with the word the decision to be serious with god is not for men of god the decision to be serious with god is for saviors provided you know that there is a destiny connected to you it will jack you up to say lord reveal yourself that mantle and that unction that must land upon my life for the sake of my generation i will pay whatever price it will take if you're still with me say amen, amen. hear me for some of you here while you are listening to me the holy ghost is speaking to you and saying this is what i kept showing you in dreams this is what i've been trying to tell you that you need to step your spiritual life because where i'm sending you to the pace of your spiritual growth cannot build the stamina to stand before pharaoh can i tell you the truth what some of you call delay is not delay is that god has gauged you and seen that you are not strong enough to face what he's sending you to face so he will withdraw your progress to help you so that you do not collapse before pharaoh because you did not build capacity please sit down we live in a generation that is obsessed with admiring anointed people and just believing that you just bring 1,000 or 5,000 and people just lay hands and transfer everything let me be honest with you my dear people there is a track record in the spirit that you cannot buy with money it is a track record you have to pay with God you want to tell the sick be healed and they are healed you want a generation to hear you is more than the ability to speak English no there must be a hunger I'm praying that something will land on someone this morning that every laziness that will not allow you take God seriously and if there is any spirit fighting your spiritual progress in the name of Jesus I declare those altars are scattered right now hear me there are many of you you are the first person to rise in your family to this level now you want to go down and allow the devil destroy your family God is counting on you and saying you are the one your mama was praying for you for 20 years before you arrived the decision to make spiritual progress when it is time to pray you lock yourself every day you are doing it you are signing that spiritual register the realm of the spirit is seeing you demons are seeing you principalities are seeing you they are bearing witness to the fact that you are preparing for destiny are we still together in one minute while you are standing i like you to pray lord every laziness every laxity in the name of jesus let me go let me go someone is praying a generation is waiting for me a generation is waiting for me i obtain grace kaparos ketebekata kambra katos kateleketa depending on my spiritual health depending on my spiritual advancement hallelujah in the name of jesus please sit down very quickly sit down Number two, number two, 
The second, Kali Sali Barusia. I just saw light. I'm seeing the number 17. I just saw light coming. Please, I want you to just help them. 17 people, I just saw the power of God like light just coming on them right now. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, where are these people? That light that must rest upon your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it come upon your destiny right now. Let it come upon your destiny. Let it come upon your destiny right now. Please help them. Just help those under the anointing. Let it come upon your destiny right now. The Lord is bringing you into a new season. Please sit down and be very sensitive if you can. Just help those under the anointing. Hear me, the Lord is speaking to someone here. The Lord is saying, I've been beckoning on you to come closer and to get deeper with me but right now while you are seated the fire of God right where you are just help them that fire is landing on your destiny right now there are ladies here you are carrying that fire there is a fire that has been looking for your abakatosh kedevadakata Sit down, please. I have to hurry up. Please write. Just help those under the anointing. We are going to pray. The waters have already been stirred here. Number two. The second decision that you must make is the decision to contend for superior belief systems. The decision to contend for superior belief systems that is the second honorable decision you have to make for your destiny the decision to contend for superior belief systems through renewal and transformation write it down please the decision to contend for superior belief systems you will never rise above and beyond your mindset you will never rise above and beyond your belief system. Your belief system represents your paradigm. Your belief system represents your viewpoint. It says, son of man, what seest thou? It says, the rod of an almond tree. And he said, you have seen correctly. I will hasten my word, Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 10 to 12. I will hasten my word that you have seen to perform. In Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7, write it down for reference, three scriptures. Proverbs 23, 7, Proverbs 4, 23, and Psalm 78 and verse 41. I'm hurrying up for time. Proverbs 23 and verse 7, Proverbs 4 and 23. It says, as he thinketh in his heart, he didn't say so he will become so he already is the bible equates your destiny to the quality of your thoughts every one of us here comes from different backgrounds sociologically speaking spiritually speaking economically speaking and these contexts they have a way of conditioning our mind was it not Nathaniel that said about Jesus, can anything good come out from Nazareth? You may have come from a background where no one has risen. You have never seen favor in display. You have never seen speed. And chances are that when God wants to favor you, when God wants to bring speed, there is no provision in your mindset to allow that happen. A man can limit God psalms 78 and verse 41 
I found out scripture and it has blessed me through the years. They limited the Holy One by saying, can God make a wilderness? Can God make a way in the wilderness? As powerful as God is, as mighty as God is, the mindset of an individual can limit his performance in the life of that person. So the second decision is the decision to contend for superior beliefs. I told you that everything you are looking for is also looking for you, but not this version of you. There is a version of you your future is looking for. You have to evolve into that version. You have to grow through renewal and transformation. Mentality, mentality can decide the quality of destiny. Number three, the third decision that you must make is the decision to discover and fulfill your God-given assignment. Write it down, please. The third quality decision you need to make is the decision to discover and fulfill your God-given assignment. In other words, the decision to live a purpose-driven life. John 4, 34, please help us media. The decision to discover and fulfill your assignment. John 4, 34. Jesus said unto them, the Bible says, my meat, that means my satisfaction, my fulfillment is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish the work. Everybody said to do and finish. One more time, say to do and finish. In Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7, Paul was speaking and he made a quotation. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will, O God. It has been written concerning every one of us. But whether you fulfill what was written or not is a, is a, is a subject for another day. Make up your mind to discover and to fulfill your assignment. Now, we don't have all the time, but can I have two or three people here? Just any two, no, you, you see, just two or three people here. Let me use someone, please give me anything to use, a rod, a mic, just anything, a book, anything at all. Now, all of you stand, watch this. You stand here, you stand here, watch this. This is a baton. Please stand in front here, sir. Stand in front there. You stand in front of him. Now watch this. This is a baton. And God has given it to him. Hold it, sir. My friend, all of you stretch your hands backward, ready to receive. This man, if he runs his destiny well, he will be able to hand it over to this man. Is that true? If this man fails, run well sir and hand it over to him you see that his efficiency has made another person to fulfill destiny but you sir refuse to run this man has refused to discover his place and run with that baton he's wasting the destiny of another person because he has refused to run every time you refuse to find your place in life someone else is a relay you are not the only one running If God raised you to be a man of God, all the pastors that were supposed to come up after you and under you because of your inability to answer the call, you are punishing another man's destiny. If God has raised you to be a kingdom financier, he raised you to be a financier so that that church will now be built because of your refusal to obey your assignment. That church is never built and the souls that should be saved in that church never come to Jesus. There are implications when you do not fulfill destiny. Please give him back again. Let's repeat it now. This 
represents the generation of our grandfathers and great grandfathers in the faith they handed it over give it to him there is a generation running with this now now my friend when he gives it to you refuse to collect it now he's giving it to him this is what most of our generation are doing collect it take the mantle of healing the mantle of breakthrough collect it and we're saying no we're busy typing phones typing internet making all kinds of things collect this time is going destinies are suffering and this man is refusing my friend walk away and leave him this is what is happening our fathers are passing this baton and saying young people a time will come you will be the one on the stage prepare collect this mantle collect this baton in business in ministry but you are refusing but in this conference my brother run back and come and collect this run with speed and come and pick it this is what is happening to someone now lift your voice in one minute and declare i must fulfill destiny go ahead and pray go ahead and pray from the depth of your heart i must find my place in life find my place in destiny and fulfill the same in jesus name we pray for in jesus name we pray I've given you three decisions now number one to make exceptional spiritual progress number two to contend for superior belief systems number three the decision to discover and fulfill your God-given assignment number four are we still here the fourth decision according to third John 1 verse 2 third John 1 verse 2 the decision to be healthy now look up this may look like a very simple decision but it's a very very serious decision the decision to be healthy your physical well-being is important for the fulfillment of your destiny because no spirit is a legal occupant in the earth without a body you need a healthy body it says beloved i wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health prosper and be in health the decision to be healthy can i tell you this there are many people today who are 40 years but respectfully speaking are looking 80 years because they spend their lives deteriorating their health carelessness over their bodies eating anything drinking anything i myself did not used to pay that much attention to my health i was not careless with my health but i didn't give it that level of intention especially those who work in miracles signs and wonders usually they ignore their health just because the anointing flows through them to others you must be careful you have a responsibility under god to walk in health it is the reason why vices like smoking and drinking and liquor and all these kinds of things are dangerous because it's a way of mismanaging your health a body has thou prepared for me if you do not have a body even if you have a vision it will not come to pass did you hear what i said if you do not have a body even if you have a vision it will not come to pass your vision needs a body to find expression that means from today you must make a decision that i am going to be healthy part of the ways that you choose life is to choose to be healthy you wouldn't believe it i'm not a medical doctor but i can tell you this your health starts from the discipline to take clean water 
clean water alone can save you many many years of degrading your health the moment god begins to bless you you get a job or money begins to come don't just invest in clothes invest in your health if you buy a nice cloth a nice designer in a body that is dying soon people will come and carry it away because you will be dead hear me one time i went to minister in this nation and one of the fathers of faith drew me into his office and he made a statement that i would never forget it was a powerful conference and he drew me into his office and he said my son let me teach you something pay attention to your health he said africans kill their prophets and it was it it made such an impact in my life now it's good to stretch yourself don't be lazy but you must know when you stretch yourself beyond limit there are many people today it is not demons that are destroying their health it is just because they do not pay attention can i tell you this haven't encouraged you to be hard working let me be sincere with you when you are tired rest when you are hungry eat learn this especially for young people because we are surrounded by so many people who want to show that you can stretch in the spirit we we derive a lot of pride from showing that you have stamina in the spirit there are people today who have ulcer and it's because they did not know how to fast with wisdom there are people today who are destroying themselves there are people today who have gone to pray and stretch themselves beyond proportion and it affected their brains they have bipolar right now they are in the hospital there is a balance to everything the bible says to do everything with moderation pay attention to your health do not feel embarrassed and don't feel less of a christian if you are investing in your health if you are with me say amen Humorously, I'm seeing that there are meals being served while the message is going on. And some of you are almost embarrassed. You don't want to collect it. Collect it all. Collect it all. Oh, they are not serving. Oh, I see. Oh, they are just positioned. Don't, don't collect it now. <laughs> but when it's time to collect it, collect it. Yes, after the message, you have it. I know some of you will feel like you are falling your hand spiritually how could i be so anointed when jesus was hungry he ate when jesus was tired he slept please eat and rest in this kingdom we live by bread and words bread and words not word alone bread and words Please sit down. We have to wrap up. Are you learning? Now, very quickly, number five. The fifth quality decision you must make in order to emerge as a champion and influence is the decision to be financially independent write it down i hope you are not shouting just because you like money the decision to be financially independent you know can i be honest with you many people shy away from the reality of this because and i know why usually when it has to do with the issue of finances there are two groups in the body of christ there are those who ignore it and say it's not important don't worry you just serve god he will sort your life and then there are those who almost it is like an extension of lust and carnality and everything is money 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 from start to finish both are wrong but i can tell you based on the authority of scripture 
the decision to be financially independent is a noble decision and it's also a spiritual decision proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 may you never forget this scripture for the rest of your life in jesus name proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 why do you need to contend for financial independence here is one of the reasons the bible says the rich ruled over the poor and the borrower is servant to the lender did you hear that a rich man will rule over the poor even if he's a poor prayer warrior even if he's a poor fasting giant for as long as you are poor you will never be able to taste the corridors of power and influence it takes economic empowerment to lift the name of jesus the name of jesus is very heavy it takes resources to lift it up hmm. do not join the ignorance where people find comfort in believing that everything will be all right if you are not financially empowered what we challenge in the body of christ is lost an affinity towards material things not the availability of resources by the time money becomes a god to you by the time you become obsessed with money even to the detriment of your relationship with jesus now there is a problem materialism is not having materials materialism is the influence of materials on your relationship with jesus and you don't need to have money to be materialistic there are many poor people who are materialistic they don't just have the money to manifest it yet please pay attention to this there are many people who are called of god today but they are unable to do much for the kingdom this conference right now is happening because there are financial resources to drive the conference it is not only because jesus is here jesus is here and we are grateful but what if the gen and the sound system goes off and you cannot hear what if the lights are out this magnificent um ground that we all are sitting here it took resources to make it happen as i have toured around this amazing camp I have seen all kinds of projects ongoing it takes resources if you embrace poverty you will also embrace weakness hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us